It's a great tactic. It makes this so much easier. It might be a bit cheap, but it's not really cheating because you are fighting all of them on your own. You're fighting more enemies this way, so in a sense, it's harder. Okay, so now we'll jump onto the top floor and we'll take out any enemies who come up here for me. Kill that buddy. He's going to spawn. Unfortunately, I couldn't shoot in time because I dropped. Uh, I haven't actually got much of the bullets either, so that doesn't help. Do that combo though, that's good. He's whipped. He's done that. I couldn't hit her. It's okay, it's mad. Okay. That's the sword. That one's down. She's done that. We'll shoot twice. She's down. Let's try and get out of the tornado. We got hit there a bit, but it doesn't matter. We're still, still in it. We're still doing well. Trini's down though, so we'll drop down, we'll get her up, and then we'll jump back up to the top. He's just done the whip, so we can hit him. We know he's going to be vulnerable. Madam Webb's appeared, so we'll shoot her twice. Oh, uh, well, I've run out of bullets. So we want to hit the puddies now and try and get a bit more health. But first, we'll get Tommy up. It's vital we get them up as quick as possible now. She's done an attack there. We can hit her with a sword. And then we'll get a few hits on this puddy. Get a few hits on that one. Where's she gonna teleport? She teleported down the bottom so we can't hit her. Right out of the way of that one. Get out of the way of her. One's teleported there. We'll shoot. Oh, she can't hit her. We killed the pussy anyway. She's doing an attack, so we can shoot. Kill her. One more Madam Web left. I'm assuming that's Madam Web, right? It does look like her, doesn't it? Just a more like sexed up version of her. Just how, the same way like Rita's been sexed up a bit in this. Uh, anyway. So she's done that attack. We can shoot twice, three times. A lady, she's dead. Uh, we'll jump back up to the top floor. We'll move them to either corner. Wait for him to attack. We stopped him summoning some more enemies. Hit her because she tried to hit me. Then we'll shoot her twice. Two hits with Madam Webb with a pistol and you can kill her. No one actually damaged her. That's quite interesting. We're all out of the way of him. Someone's down, down there. We'll try and move Trini out of that corner. Or we slowly walk over. She's bailed. Get out of there. Who's alive? Tommy's alive. So we'll move him up there. We'll try and dodge with Jason while we roll over there with Tommy. And then we'll get Trini up. And then we'll switch to Trini now. Because she's got more health. So we'll jump Trini up to the top. As soon as he stops spinning. See, Trini runs really fast, so I can quickly jump up there. Kick these enemies' ass. Wait for Jason to die. As soon as he dies, we'll heal him. And then we'll switch back to Jason just to be safe. But this is why I use Trini. Look how fast she is. She's, she's great at this. I can get up and down, in and out without really getting hit. So Jason's down. I know I got hit then when I said that. I jinxed myself, I think. So we killed her, and then we'll run in. Get Tommy. Jason up even. Red Ranger's back in action. We'll now jump up here. And get whoever comes up here to fight them. Whoever's dumb enough to come up here. Thinking they can get me. Bang, 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 bang. We'll move Trini over, because oh, Tommy's down. I don't want to keep calling him Jason. Jake and David Frank, that's what I'm getting things in. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Get him up. Try and get him back up there as best as possible. on floor 34 now. Shoot her, she should die. Get that buddy. Oh, he just won't die. And there's that one down. Floor 35 now. I think you can see from that one, that was probably the, the most toughest one we've had so far. Uh, so there's definitely more of a risk of dying now, so you do need to be aware, like I've said, just how much health everyone's got, and I mean everyone on your team. 
trying to get in there and heal her while he's chatting. Well, he, well he's laughing, so he's not going to attack. So I was safe to jump in there and heal, even though he was standing right next to me. Again, that one's laughing, so we're just shooting him down. That one's laughing as well. We try and hit him. Couldn't quite hit him, doesn't matter. We'll get, we'll get rid of the knights, because they just block the fucking way. Okay, so I've got hit. Every time you get hit, have a glance at the top, see what your health's like. See what the health of your teammates are like, just to be sure. Is it worthwhile switching to another character now? No, but it could be soon when we heal someone. So we'll shoot them down. Trini's dead, so we're going to switch to her now as soon as we heal her. So now we're Trini. I'm just going to wait for Jason to die. I've accidentally activated the power thing, so what I might do is run in. Kill all these, because that was perfect timing for that. But we'll try and keep Trini away from danger. Now Jason's a bit useless to us, because he's not very great at these shield enemies. Unless we use a triangle attack. So we'll just let him die, because they do a lot of damage, so they'll kill him quicker, so I ain't going to wait around as long. Trini's doing this weird bounce. Get in there, take them out. Bring Jason back in so he can get his power meter up. A good tactic now because we want to try and go in with a lot of the blue bar filled. So we may as well let Jason kill these now to build it back up. As you see, build it quite quick, so we should be able to go in with pretty much near enough full power just in case we need it. See, that's not going to take us long now in the next floor to build it up. Maybe one, two enemies. So, we, so if need be, we can focus on two puddies and just kill them. And then if there's Tengus or something like that in, we can power up then. So we got some gunners, so it's a good job we needed that blue bar, because we can shoot them if we need to. Uh, we'll shoot that one, so he's down. Shoot him. We couldn't shoot them in time, there's about three there, I think. And now we can just shoot them, hit them with triangle, because they're on the floor and they're weak. So the gunners are gone, so now we can get over there and heal Tommy. Madam Web's there, we'll shoot her twice, she's down. That's her taken out very quickly. Should have hit him then, but it doesn't matter. It's only two putties and they're pretty easy to kill. Go and get Trini up now. Bang. Another wave, there's a gunner there. Kill them. All over there, get those. See that powered move doesn't do fuck all. We'll get out of this corner because we're getting hammered and we'll try and move someone else over. Because they both ended up getting knocked into the corner with each other, which is never good. Oh, he just hit me in the air, but Okay, I'm gonna go for that bird. Fucking hell. Bird down, shoot him, he's down, brilliant. Got a bit hairy there, but we survived. Another Madam Web dead. Final one done. Try and switch to Trini now for the next floor because she's got more health, so we're better off being her than trying to survive with Jason. So we'll move Jason and Tommy into the opposite corners and then we'll try and survive as Trini for as long as possible. Trini's pretty good anyway, so it's not really a problem. We'll let Jason die. Trini's got the full power, so we could uh, we could use her ability on this area. No, he's not going to focus on him now, so we'll put those two together. Another wave, flying enemies, a fucking annoying Tengu. Kill him with the power up. Easily dispatched before we even got an attacker. He's still not dead. I think it might have glitched now as well, because they're not going to get killed. Sometimes that happens, they just won't take, I don't know, well sometimes they won't take damage. 
So we'll get Jason up, and then we'll switch back to Tom Jason. Uh, we'll leave Tommy like that, and he can be healed on the next floor. But you can see all the tactics come into play now, just how it how it all works, how you should be playing yourselves. I'm going to pause it here and just save the video again. Uh, <sighs> So we continue on to the next floor, floor 38 now. We want to jump up to the top, shoot these bastards. Try and get the gunners out. There's a load of them up there. We're going to get hit. We're going to get hit lots here. But we just, gotta, just try and do your best. Dodge as many of the attacks as you can. We've got two out there. Now we can run across and get these two fucking nubs. Still some more gunners down there. Tommy's down. We'll go and heal him while they're all focusing on her. Triangle, triangle, pause. Triangle, triangle, some more. Takes them out quickly. Saves us some bullets because we might need those now. So we might have to be a bit more sparing with the bullets just to conserve a bit of ammo for when we need it. Uh, who have we got now? We've got some knights and some gunners. We can shoot them too. Now go knock him out of the sword. Double jump over that bullet. Jump into the other one, unfortunately. Gotta shoot them to break that combo. My characters are down, so we want to move Tommy over if we can. It's not working well at the minute. He's away far enough for me to go and heal Trini. I'm going to have to heal Tommy now. Keep shooting those gunners down. While everyone's down the floor getting up, you can hit them. Easy enough. Watch out, Jason. Don't want to get hit there. Got 38. Bang, bang. We've still got the most power. Maybe Tommy. No, I think they're pretty much equal. Going into floor 39. Jason's got the lowest health, but I'm going to stick with him. But I don't recommend you do that. Go with Trini now at this point. Let Jason die. But I just want to try to kill some of the knights first. And then use my gun on the Madam Web fuckers. Hitting their shield there, that was no good. We've got one of them down anyway, so where's Tommy? We need to find Tommy and heal him. He's stuck up there with those knights. So take those out. Heal him. Then I'm gonna to switch to Tommy because he's got the most health. Let Jason die, he's died quicker than I thought he would, so that's brilliant. Uh, we'll heal we'll heal Trini first and then we'll get Jason up because we can control Jason. So Trini's up. And then we'll get Jason up. And then we'll switch back to Jason. And then we'll start attacking Jason again. Adam Webb's dead, so we'll get the hell out of there. We'll take some of these knights out. Same tactic we always use on the knights, just jump and press square to kill them. They're pretty useless, but they do do a lot of damage if they clip you. As I've probably said about 20 times on this video. Apologies for repeating myself. Madam Web dead. Trini's about to die. There's a lot of knights come together. We'll try and hit them all. Go and get Trini up. And Tommy up, because they're both right by each other. But we're going to move Trini out of the way, so hopefully lure the enemies over here. And then we'll run round, heal Tommy, and then attack these knights just to get rid of them. Shoot her. 
killed the Madam Web character. Blaster is so good on her. We'll shoot him to stun him, and then we'll attack him with the sword. We'll get hit by the knight because we're dumb. Shoot him. He's gonna do that attack. We'll shoot him again. He's down. The knight's attacking Trini. We'll have to let him hit her. And then we'll attack him. And he's down now. And then we're on level 40. Uh, now we're on stage 40. Uh, very easy now, second time through actually. If I say that, I'm probably going to die now, but here we go. It's like I don't feel it's as bad. I've not got the pressure now of trying to get it for the trophy, I think that helps. Uh, so we'll attack these airborne ones first. Two's run out of the sword, we'll use square. Remember they shoot three bullets, so if they're shooting, just count three and then go in attack. Trini got killed there, so... We will just carry on as Jason because we've got the power up ready. Because we can easily take out these Tengu now. So we'll do that. I and mean, we should get some health at the end of this one anyway. So uh, it's not really a problem. There you go. Look. Now we can heal. We'll heal them all. And we're going into the last bunch of rooms now. Uh, where we should start to see the Minotaur pretty soon. Now he's a, he's a bit of big, big, big trouble. Here he is. Uh, again though, we want to take out the gunners first. When you hear them do the charge, they'll go <laughs> like that. That's when you know they're going to run. You'll also see them, they're like, they stomp their feet like that. They do that little shockwave thing and then they run. But hopefully, if you have all these characters with you, hopefully the, the monitors will just focus on the others first. Um, I'm trying desperately to kill these flying fuckers. They are a pain. But be aware of the Minotaur. So sort of attack the other ones, but be looking at the Minotaur to see where they are. If you can sort of know what I mean there. So I'm sort of following the bird, but I'm concentrating on the Minotaur more. So I've got a rough idea where the bird is, but my mainly focus is the Minotaur. So their main attack, as you can see, is this charge that they're going to keep doing. You can't really hit them when you're weak like this. Well, not weak, but just normal Ranger. Um, they will grab you like that they will try and grab you and they throw you to the ground so you have to wait until they charge like that now they're vulnerable to hit unfortunately they both were together there so i couldn't really hit them so you want to just knock them on the floor and then just repeat the whole process see he slams her down that takes off quite a bit of health so just always roll and eventually they will start to uh do the charge attack again and i'll get a bit pissed off there we go they're both coming for me double jump over them i didn't do that very well while they're doing that little you can hit them with the sword, do a quick combo, knock them to the floor. If you are lucky enough to get your power meter up, you can instantly finish them off, just like the Tengu. Sometimes when that happens, they will run off the screen and die. Um, but now we can charge up the power up and we can just walk up to them. When they eventually come back on the screen and we can just hit them, it will eventually break their armor and we can start hurting them. As you see there, look, that one's down. We'll heal Trini. Then we can do it with him as well. Interrupted his attack. They turned to stone for some reason. I guess that was in the show. I don't really remember that character. But that's that enemy kill. We're going to kill this fucking gunner first. And then we'll move around the screen. Get the other gunner. Always focus on where the Minotaur is going to charge. They're not going to charge at me. So that's brilliant. I'll run in while he's weakened. And we'll just kill him with a quick power up move. We'll get the other one. And then we'll concentrate on the other enemies afterwards. As long as they go down, you haven't really got to worry because you know how to deal with every other enemy that you're facing. Don't worry about hitting them with when they're turned to stone. They will eventually crumble. It's not like they break free of it and they come back and attack you. So you haven't got to worry with that. Madam Web's appearing somewhere. We'll shoot her twice. She's down. That's another one gone. Um, power ups ran out now, so we'll fill it back up with Jason. Like killing these knights. So you want to try and have a full meter-ish before we go into the next area. That would really help. We've got it back up. Easy. We're ready for the next floor now. So again, do what we always do. Roll the other two into the opposite corners. 
and then we'll focus on the enemy. So who have we got here? We've got some knights, some hoodies, and a madam web. We shoot, we we'll try to shoot that madam web. But unfortunately, we got hit by a buddy, so we'll just take out the puddy patrollers um, as quick as possible. I'm not really doing a good of a job of it there. I was completely missing. She's doing that attack now. Shoot her twice. She's down. It does the tornado. Now we can just focus on the other enemies. They're all together there, so we might as well just attack all of them. Pin the knights there, and we can kill the puddies. So that's two more gone pretty quick. Because they're close together, we'll separate them again. Now let's go for the airborne flying birds. There's only one, but he will be a pain if we don't get him, so we'll take him out first. And then just go for any enemy that you can that you buy. Puddies ideally could be first, but you can hit them in, be in between hitting the knights kind of thing. When the knights are on the knees, you can focus on a puddy. And then switch back as soon as they get up. Shell uh, I knew it was attacking, I just couldn't dodge. So Tommy's down. I'm going to get him up. Dodge that buddy there just about. That was nice. Get him to stop hitting Trini. And then another floor done. 42 done. So as I said, you, at the beginning of the video, you are looking at about an hour and a half on this, this way, but it does work. You can see here, I've not, not had too many problems yet. Uh, we'll kill these flying birds first. Or bat things, whatever the fuck they are. Uh, and then we'll take out the knights, and then we'll use the power up on the um, tengus. So you can easily dodge the tengus. You know when they're going to attack. They'll sort of be walking in front of you. If they walk back and then zoom in, kill the knights. Hopefully, get that last knight. The so Trini's down. Tommy's about to go. So we'll get ready to get Tommy up. Just bring him back over here. Actually, right. Now we've only got the Tengus, we'll power up. Shout for those, we can get them two in a group. He's gonna walk into us and keep pressing square. We'll move Tommy over here a bit. We'll bring Trini that way. Get rid of that flying one first. Attack him, take him out. Tommy's down, we'll heal him immediately. That's okay, we'll take that hit. We'll dodge that one though. He's walked into us, so again, look how easy it is to kill these with his power. And then, we'll be here for a lot longer otherwise. And the great thing about them is, you always get the power up filled. Look at my combo as well, like 67, 70 combo. 75 hit combo there. So we're going into the next round now, with full power. Even though we had it on all the way through that, near enough. So again, for this level, we will roll them to the corners and we'll jump up to the top, where it's a bit clearer. Uh, we'll just take out whoever comes up here now, it's not really a case of going for one particular enemy, it's just whoever comes up. Um, we need to be aware of your health now, so Jason's going to be low, Trini's going to die soon, so we'll ideally switch to her if she goes first, because she's the better one. I think she's going to die there. We'll ideally do it for the next wave of this level. I think that's her dead now, so they're gonna come for me, so we'll switch to Trini. She got hit again, unfortunately. We've just gotta survive until Jason dies and revive him. So we'll kill this one just to make it a bit easier on ourselves. And we'll bring Tommy over there so they're both sort of standing together. And then hopefully they'll both be hit. Okay, he's completely missed them both, but never mind. move these around, hopefully you'll go for Jason at some point. We'll stand there, should he? <laughs> Shame. That's Jason nearly dead. Tommy brought the bullet of that one, unfortunately. Jason's down. Now we'll heal. Kill this fucking up. And then. I think I need to jump back up there, don't I? Yep. So we'll go back up, repeat the process again. Wait for enemies to come up and get me, and I'll attack 
give me a minute. Where's... Oh, they did the explosion right by me. That was a bit annoying. See, I told you earlier that you could still get hit from up here. Um, that's a great example of it. Again, it's not too bad. Tommy could do with dying, but it doesn't matter if he doesn't go down. Well, we might as well kill him now. I think that bird's going to go for him. Yeah. He didn't quite kill him though, did he? For fuck's sake. Oh well, we'll carry on. Let's carry on. It's a floor 45 now. Just going to pause it there. And we're back with floor 45 now. So, let's roll them out. Gunners now, so we need to get rid of these as quick as possible. There's a good, good attack there from Jason, I have to say. Shoot them down just to knock them out. Someone's gone down, but it doesn't matter. We can still get these out first. It's not going to cause us too much problems. Get Tommy up. Shoot that one, shoot that one, shoot that one. Back, back down. Completely missed. He's doing the long combo, so we'll shoot that to cancel it. And then we'll walk in, hit him with the sword. He's laughing now after the one hit with. Kill him, we'll shoot him again. And we'll walk in, punch, and then maybe he's dead now. If not, we'll shoot him two more times. And he's done. So again, we've got puddies, but we haven't really done it this time, so... We've got even more puddies now. Christ. Shoot there. When you've got a level like this, you can just shoot the hell out of everything, because you know you're going to build it up, because there's a lot of enemies to, to attack kind of thing, so if you need to, just do it. Just shoot, spam the bullets, spread everything out. It's easy enough, because I can fill it up now with the last few enemies. So, Trini's gone down, we'll get her up. Kill him with a combo breaker. Whack, 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 whack. Tommy's getting his ass kicked by one puddy. But Trini's got loads of health, so we can carry on to the next level. Because we've always got Trini as the backup. Tommy's just the bait. Uh, floor 46 now. Gunners straight away, which don't help. Tommy's down immediately. Madam Web's gone, that's good. Got Tommy up, that's great. Let's get the gunners now, because they are the biggest pain. Tengu can wait. Another Madam Web dead. Two bullets. Easy to kill. Where's the next one? Line it up. She'll move. she come to me. She's down. Trini's almost dead. We haven't got much of the power meter, so we'll have to do it the old fashioned way. Running in, swiping with the sword, and then attacking. Trini's down, so we're going to bring her back, and then. I think it's a good way to just kill Jason now. Though it does take a while, it's a bit tedious. It's the best option, it's the safest option. You know, just let the character die. It won't hurt. It's coming for her. And then we'll, we'll do that. We'll do the uppercut, and then we'll knock him in the air and we'll hit him. Hopefully he's stunned now. Not stunned, but we'll keep hitting him. And now we'll switch back to Jason. It's good as now, so we're gonna take those out as quick as possible. Shoot our way through. Fortunately, we ran out of bullets. Keep an eye on who's left. Any left. Tommy's got lowest health now. Keep just keep doing what you've been doing all the way through really. It's same enemies, they never do anything different. It's 
more the pressure the player puts on themselves, really. Because you're like, oh my god, I've been doing this for an hour and then 40 minutes or whatever, yeah, an hour and a half. I'm this far, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, and you mess up and do something stupid. Um, someone else would just die, shoot Madam with twice, because I ran out of bullets, doesn't matter. Keep moving, we'll separate them again, just to make it easier. She's done an attack there, just hit her. She's dead. She's dead as well. Now on to 47. I think there'll be more Minotaurs now. I think it's the Minotaurs for the last few, I think. And then after 50, it goes to putties for about three levels, I think. It's really weird. It just goes easy on you. Okay, so no Minotaurs yet, but unfortunately we have got loads of gunners. But we've got them in a group there, so... Smack all them out. One thing to say as well, you might have noticed, I never actually use the block. I just don't see the point of it. Um, I mean, I know what it does, and I know the point in this game, I don't think. So I'm just trying to get rid of these whips now, because they're a bit annoying. There's too many guns over there that I can't quite reach. So, yeah, just, just do what we've learned all the way through. Uh, Trini, could we, we could do playing as Trini now, actually. J we can let Jason die on this easier stage. Build up Trini's meter. We didn't actually let Jason die there, did I? I didn't kill anything. Alright. We'll let him die on this bit. I'll kill the flying birds first, because they are a fucking annoyance. The knights can kill Jason, because they'll hit him quite hard. If they actually go over and attack the fucking guy. Also be aware that Tommy's going to die at this point, so I'm, I'm watching that as well. Making sure that if they do both go down, I'm still okay enough to survive for a bit longer. Now that guy's refusing to hit him, so I'll try and hit him to bait him. It's not really working. I'll go and get Tommy up while I'm waiting for Jason to die. In case the worst happens with Trini. Get a few of these knights. Jason's about to die. We'll just dispatch a few more of these. Jason is down. We'll go over there, quickly get over there before the enemies get to us. We'll switch back to him to build his power meter up now. As best as we can. Probably not going to get it very high. We'll still do it. You can always use Trini as well. I didn't need to do that. She's going to get hit now as well. Okay, so Trini's probably the best one to go into this level with because we can use our power up if needed. So I'm switching back to Trini now. Floor 48. We're almost there, guys. It's... I hope this has helped. So we've got Minotaurs now. So what we want to do is get rid of the birds first, but be aware of where they are. So Trini just got a massive hit there. So we're going to switch back to Jason because he's got more health. Unfortunately, we couldn't really do anything. We're going to get rid of Tommy because he's... Shit, he's in the way. Trini's now down. Get her up as fast as possible. She's got the most health. We could ideally do with using her now. Tommy's now down too. The Minotaurs are charging. The music has stopped. Get him up. He went for us. You can hit him off screen. The bird trying to attack. Got slammed again, but it doesn't matter. We're still, we're still all right. We're still in this. It's not looking great at the minute, but we're still in it. Trust me. As you can see, the Minotaurs are running off screen. That one attacked. We can't hear him off screen. It's a bit awkward. Right, Trini's down. Get her up and switch to her immediately. She's got the most health. She's best likely to survive. Jason just got hit with one hit and died. Switch back. But we're going to keep her control of her. No, let's switch back. She got hit by a Minotaur. You'll notice there's only one Minotaur now, but we didn't actually kill the others. That's because they ran off screen and killed themselves somehow. So we'll attack that one. We'll get the bird while he's still stunned. So if you keep, so a good tactic with the Minotaurs actually is to keep them, the two characters you're not playing as close to the edge of the screen because. 
at some point they may kill themselves running off the edge. It might be like a, a kill zone if they go too far or something maybe. Um, so yeah. But we'll just dodge them for now. Wait until he charges and then attack the Minotaur. We're pretty much home free now on this first bit. Yeah. Can't actually hit him. So we're going to bring her over a bit more. So whoever he charges at we should be able to actually hit him still. She's going for the green. But he's still on screen, so now he's just going swipe, swipe, swipe. Wait for him to charge again. Which is useless attacking him like that, because it doesn't work. Let's go for green again. Poor Tommy getting bad. He's gone off screen, but he died there. Look, see, he died. That's why the others are spawned. Because something happens to him there. Not sure what. Jason's got a big hit there. We'll get the, uh... We'll get Tommy up. Oh, shit. We'll get Tommy up. Yep, get Tommy up. And then we'll switch to the power mode, and then we can easily kill these monitors now. Use the power. Get him as well. Ooh. Ooh, danger now. I would suggest sacrificing Jason's power and letting him die so we can then heal Jason and then have two characters on decent health. It doesn't matter, we can still kill this Minotaur fairly easy. And he may even kill himself now going after Tommy. Yep. <laughs> See? Easy. <laughs> Keep them by the edge. Eventually the Minotaur will kill themselves. So we're now on 49. If we can do this, we've got to the end and we've, we've managed to get the trophy. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Watch out for the Minotaurs. We'll try and take out the other fuckers first. Just because it's less cluttered then. Down, we'll get him up. So, I'm just, as you can see, I'm just focusing on the other enemies, keeping her on it with health. Trini's got quite low health. She's not going to last much longer. Tommy just got hit. I think I can kill Madam Web there. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, yeah, Minotaur's left now. They're going for Tommy. Both of them went for Tommy. He survived it. The Trini's down, so we'll try and get her up without getting killed. Uh, who's the Minotaur going? He's going for me. So I'll lure him over there. And I'll hit him with the sword. Shoot those fuckers. Get that one with the sword. Batter him. Tommy survived somehow. He must be dead now. There we go. So now, we kill this one. They're both going for Trini. He's off screen. I think he just died, so that's brilliant. Just the one left now. He's trying to grab, so he won't let him grab me. Come on, charge you little fuck. He goes to stomp Trini, so we'll get her up. That's brilliant. That helps because we've got that one at full health now. Well, as full as we can get it at this point. Time he's got hit. It doesn't matter. We'll attack him now. And we'll get out of the way. Is he going to turn to stone? No, we still need to hit him some more, but that's fine. That is fine. Do not worry. Trini's getting beaten. Come on, charge your bastard. So he's ran. Hit him. Still not enough to kill him. Charge him, though. He went for me. He's down now, so that's the first wave of this one done. Now, if you survive this, you've done it, so all the best. As you can see, there are no Minotaurs. We need, to, we need to heal Tommy. He's down. We've got Tommy up. Brilliant. Get Jason out of there. We'll kill the flying one first, because he is annoying me. down, got her up, brilliant. Tommy's low health too, but he should be alright for a second. Tommy's down, he wasn't alright. We've got to that one, we've got to the flying ones. Get the knight, get him out of the way, he's just a blocker basically. 
Matt webbed on an attack to shoot her. The other one blocked it. Never mind. Get her this time. There. She should be dead now. Brilliant. But Trini's nearly dead, so we need to keep an eye on her. Madam Webb's gonna get killed soon. The knight's gonna be killed. Yep, Madam Webb's gone. So are they. Now we've got it. You've got it. You've done it. Well done. If you've got this far, you've now done it. Because easy enemies are easy. And that is floor 49. You've now reached 50. You would get the trophy as soon as they teleport in. So now the trophy would appear. And you've now got the trophy. So I hope very much that this has helped you. Um, there's not much more to say. But definitely use this method. You could do it with two pads as well. It'll still work with two pads. It's just easier with three. Um, probably even easier with four if you're lucky enough to have four pads. But I just chose... I chose three because I could put one in each corner. And that was, like one either side of the screen. That was my main thing. Um, so yeah, I've been over Monkey and this has been a guide on how to play through the entirety of Rita's Tower to level 50 and unlock the trophy. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you soon.